got a text from Ford. And he said what? That Raylin was kicked out by his mum and Ford got very angry, ran out and is now alone in the storm, which gives me a lot of deja vu. I hope Kara isn't about. Do you mean because of the storm that happened when I was in a coma? Yes, that. Do you think he'll be okay? Why would you care, mum? Of course I do. According to Freddy, you don't. Excuse me? Yes, he's told me everything that I didn't know about you. Oh, and don't try looking for that drink you left in the bedside cabinet. Lily. What? He didn't tell me. Sorry, if you hadn't noticed, I have quite a lot going on right now. Let's play a game. Sure, I'd welcome that subject to the change. Whatever. If you don't want to join in, you do have a bedroom. Fine, I'll join. Good. Now, come on. Can I play? Sure. Ford tries to make his way through the storm and hope that he can find his way to a friend's house. Ford? No, 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 not this again, Carl. I won't let you get to me again. I don't think you have a choice. You have a duty to leave me and my family alone, unless your dreams are to end up living in a prison cell for the rest of your life. You're 14. Why throw your entire life away? This is what I want to do, Ford. Don't be ridiculous. No one wants to end up like this. Believe me. And you'd know that how? Losing your dad doesn't have to turn you into a cold blooded criminal. And you'd also know that how? I lost my dad at a younger age than you lost yours. Of course I know. And my sister never turned out like you did. And neither did Johnny. You and Johnny aren't getting on. Do you know everything, Kara? Maybe. Now, back to business. You? I'm not hanging around. You're homeless. Where are you going? I'm not homeless, Kara. I have friends who I have sleepovers with all the time. I'm- Well, obviously Johnny won't want you over. And what would you know? Well, for a start- I'm not listening to another word. Ford shoots off before she can run after him. He suddenly managed to get his bearings and is able to reach Johnny's house, noticing the car isn't in the drive. He rings the doorbell. I wonder if anyone is home. Ford? Johnny here? He asked Lila to take him to Freddy's house to see you. Oh, in this storm? Yes. Autumn, a tree fell down the minute I walked past it. They're not going to be okay in a car. Why are you out in the storm anyway? Mom kicked Raylan out, didn't she? I'm not staying alone with her. She's not right in the head. Alright. Come on. Be careful though. Let's find Johnny and Lila. Yeah, watch out for falling trees. I just hope they're okay. Me too. The two of them walked down the lane and decided to follow the route to Freddy's house, hoping they'd find them. Four carried a flashlight. So on. Ford is cut off quickly and the ambulance zooms down the road with blue flashing lights. Wait! Come on, quick! Are we running after the ambulance? Yes, what do you think? Okay. The two of them eventually reach where the ambulance has stopped, a black car stationary with a tree fallen into the front windows. That's Lila's car! Where are Lily and Johnny? Where are they? Calm down, I... Don't tell me to calm down, Autumn. My best friend might be hurt. How do you expect me to react? Happily? No, I... forget it. Someone walks towards them. Ford! Johnny! Wait, wait! Mom and I had an argument before we left to find you, so I decided to get into the rear of the car instead so I wouldn't have to be next to her, and... Well... Now I feel guilty. For what? I had to call an ambulance because the tree went through the front windows if I was in the front too well. Why? No, don't feel guilty. If you were in the front too, you would have been able to call an ambulance. Gosh, I was so worried when I saw the ambulance swimming past us. I was gonna ask if- No, never mind. Tell me, Ford. I shouldn't be asking this now. Please. I need somewhere to sleep. I can't say I wasn't expecting that. You were? We both know Rose, Ford. She didn't kick me out. She kicked Ray out. I can't live under the same roof as her alone. You can stay. Really? I'm so sorry for asking this. 
Hey, it's not a problem, Ford. I promise. Everything will be fine. Sorry for earlier, too. That's all my fault. Don't blame yourself. I'm not going to mention Kara ever again, and I'm not going to start a hunt. I saw Kara after I ran for mom. She looked like she was going to beat me up. What? We'll all make sure she doesn't hurt you. Or Liliana, or Freddy, or Raylan, or anyone. All right? Unless it's Yvonne, I wouldn't mind that, but she wouldn't. Not when Ileana and Kara are joining forces. Excuse me! Oh yes, the two of them showed up on Freddy's doorstep yesterday evening. We have to do something! From now, Johnny, we report everything suspicious we see. Hopefully the police have enough evidence to lock her up for good. Yes, exactly. Hopefully Mum will be okay. I just want to get home and drink hot chocolates. We can do that. Autumn, you coming? Yes, of course. Johnny, I'm sorry. Not now, Autumn. All right. Lewis texted. He said that there's an ongoing storm and that Raylan got kicked out. She did? Apparently Johnny's mom got hit by a tree? Uh, oh. He corrected himself and said Johnny's mom's car got hit by a tree. And what? What's up? Lila's in the hospital. Johnny's... Mom? Yes, Johnny's mom. I'm going to call Lewis. Go ahead. Lewis? Hi, Amber. Is Ford okay? Besides the fact that you're not around? Yes, besides that. No, he's really not. Rhea got kicked out, as I said. And then what? Ford knew that he couldn't stay home with his psycho mom, so he went out into the storm, met Kara, and went to Johnny's house. Autumn was there alone. Ugh, what did psychopathic Kara want? To hurt someone. <laughs> it's what she always wanted. True. Is Johnny okay? Well, then Ford and Autumn saw an ambulance driving past. They investigated, and they found that a tree had landed on Lila's car. I think Johnny's a little distraught, and definitely worried about his mom. Oh no. Is this my fault? No, what? I'm so sorry. And don't tell Ford we're talking. He might want to punch you. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Bye. The food is amazing here. Told you so. I wouldn't mind staying here for hours. That storm is not exactly welcoming. Of course I wouldn't mind that. If you don't mind me asking, how did you find out you liked girls? When I was younger, at the start of high school, I think, all the girls were talking about, you know, boys, like they always do. Go on. Someone asked me if I had ever crushed on a boy before. My response was no. I never actually heard of the term homosexual before, and I was really confused when the other girls accused me of that. Did it bother you? At the time, yes, but now, no. Not at all. If it weren't for the question I was asked that day, I'm not sure I'd know what my sexuality is now. So you're not affected by what people think? Of course not. They can think what they like. I've never had a girlfriend, but after that day, I did start noticing how I had some sort of attraction to a few girls. Some of them my friends. Not that they are anymore. What happened? I wasn't out then, and when a rumor spread around the school about me, my friends heard and they didn't like that I was homosexual. How did you stop caring what people thought? Well, I knew that if people were true friends, they'd stick by you no matter what. My parents support me, so if someone's my friend, they have to as well. I'm more open now. I only want people to be my friend if they like me for who I am, and a part of who I am is my sexuality. Therefore, if they don't like that about me, they are not worthy to be my friend. That's so inspiring. I try to be. Oh no! What's up? Johnny's mom has had an accident! What sort of accident? A tree fell on their car. Why were they out in the storm? And was Johnny in there too? I think so. He's fine though, and they were finding Ford to apologize to him, but Ford found them instead. What was Ford doing out in the storm again? Word spreads fast. I swear everyone knows at this point, but Raylan got kicked out. You can guess how the conversation went after that. Of course. You should see him tomorrow. What? <laughs> he needs to spend quality time with his best friend, not me. He needs to spend quality time with you. You need a kiss again. Shut up. Of course I won't. <laughs> It was a stormy day. What? Are you telling a story? When Chloe died. Oh. I wonder how many people die in storms alone. A lot. Trees fall down. Yeah. I heard about Lila. 
Hopefully she'll be alright. Maybe because it was stormy, the driver couldn't see where he was going. That car was speeding at about 90 miles per hour. If you were trying to be careful during a storm, you wouldn't be driving that fast. Louisiana, wait. Yeah? Were you there when it happened? I was. Our parents weren't exaggerating. I saw everything. And where was I? At a friend's house. You actually had them back then. I'm glad you weren't with me, though. It would have scarred you for life. Just like me. You were just seven. I remember now. It was horrifying. Watching it, you know? I've never been able to get that mental image out of my head. Lou. It's fine, Edward. Connor enters the room again. Remember Cara when she was younger? Of course. She had such a sweet personality masking her true colors. Did she ever do anything suspicious? Only things that I went along with. You what? It's no use getting mad. I didn't understand what I was getting into. And what do you do? Together, we both bullied a boy. I should have known better. I'm two years older than her. Well, anyways, the boy was the same age as me. He was in my class, and I didn't like him. I was only nine at the time. Pretty sure he'd lost a family member. So I regret it now. Nine? And lost a family member? Yeah, light brown hair, always wore black. I don't know if you knew him. You were in high school then, I think. He had a sister, too. How old is his sister? Is that relevant? Yes. Six. Eve, does that boy remind you of anyone? No. Think about it. Excuse me? Like I said. What are you getting at here? I was a bully, car boy down years, but he was the only one I bullied and I regret it, but it's the past. I don't think it can stay in the past. Why not? Does the boy remind you of anyone you know? Uh, oh my gosh, he didn't recognize me, did he, Connor? I'm sure he was more preoccupied by his dad's death at the time than what the bullies looked like. You have to tell him it was you. I can't believe it was him. I can't believe he and his sister went to the same school as me. You will tell him, right? How? He'll hate me. You still have to face the consequences. You didn't years ago. Even I didn't know. But at least now we know Kara always had an evil streak. How on earth do I even tell Freddy that I was the one who bullied him after his dad's death? 